Can you hear me out there? Are we jamming right now? Are we cooking with fire? Are we cooking with gas? You guys, can you hear me? Can you hear me? We're working with a microphone tonight. Do you see the microphone? We're working with a microphone for the first time this evening, guys. Now the question is, can you hear the music? Because now you can hear me even when I go all the way back here, or all the way over here. You can still hear me, can't you? Oh yes, we are getting fancy. Oh, we're getting ready for Saturday, you guys. Yes, yeah, so we're all mic'd up now, and Pretty much guaranteed you'll never miss anything I say again. Here's Sultan, wants to join in on the broadcast. What's up, Sultan? What do you want to do? What you want? You want some beers? Yeah. Yes, I will be sure to remove it when the neighbor interrupts, but the good news is, you guys, we're gonna have all new neighbors soon because we got a new place to live. That quick. That fast. What do you need? All right, they're going down then. I can't give it to you. Go on. Whatever it is you want, I can't help you with it. Sometimes you just can't help the dogs. They gotta help themselves. You know? The problem with this microphone is that it's wired. It's a mic'd up mic. It's a, it's, a, it's a line mic. So, you know, that's a toughie because I want to be wireless as fuck so badly. I hate this. But the wireless mic was $300, you guys. Daddy ain't there yet. So. I think we got, we finally found the setup here, the, tri the trio of tables here. So I have a table here, a table here, and the shelf that you're on. What's up, Pink King 74 What's up, Miguel? BB Creates in the house. Sick Pins. Snot Rocket Cat. Rudo. Charlotte Pins. Carrie Quinn. Data Crew. I Saw a Dino. Big Bad Shonez. Goaty. My man Goaty with the great graphic today, thank you. Fuck y'all con, man. I just step all over your D-Hall. Hall H, whatever. Um, so tonight I got Star Wars pens and then some from BB Create and Bummer Days Co. As you can see, we're featuring, of course, the new Skull TIE Fighter from Flayed Man, as well as Rebel Art Design's early day pins, um, the Skull Rebel Pilot and the um, Undead Kylo Ren. And then I have the Donut 8 and the, I believe this is... I don't know what this cape one is specifically called. And Miguel, can you help me out here on what this other uh, BB variant I have is alongside of the turtle variants? And the two My Little Ponies plus their archer from their secret menu and release last year that they had up on their site. This is Wu-Tang Beatles instrumentals. This is Wu versus the Beatles instrumentals, which I don't think you can find on any Spotify or anything else. So that's it. Um, yeah, and then, so last night, I'm sorry I couldn't stream. I had a whole great thing planned. And, then, and we'll just postpone it to next week, and that's fine. 
so it's all good. It'll still be there then, so that's okay. And what up, San Diego, so excited. Obviously got the microphone ready. I got a tripod in the mail today that I ordered. I also got the sleeves that I need to send the t-shirts out in, which I'm on top of, you guys. I'm gonna spend some time packaging those up, hopefully tomorrow, and then hopefully I can have them maybe shipped by the weekend. If not, please forgive me with all I have going on. They might have to wait till Monday or Tuesday of next week, so I apologize, but just know, when the shirts come, it'll be all be worth it. I promise. And I'm sorry that they got theirs early. It just happened to be I picked the shirts up that night because Jad lives near where I work and that was it, you guys. It was just how it worked. It was easiest rather than him shipping them to me, which was silly, seemed silly. You know, save everybody some money. You know, so. So what I wanted to showcase about the show tonight on the stream was how BB Create and other many other of, of makers that I collect and that uh, will be at the show operate when they do live events, how they do live events, Ooh. and how they offer a certain variety, uh, 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 um, a potpourri, if you will, of unreleased and sold out things that you can only get if you go to the shows. Right, so if you go to the show, if you go to the show and you see things that you can't get, I behoove you to get more of them and you can resell them yourselves. I mean, I hate to be that way, Miguel, but that's what I suggest, or trade them, you know? So there you go. But the My Little Ponies, the Archer, the Donut Ate, the Turtles, What's up? Well, I'm glad to have you here, dude. Enjoy your break with us, man. But you get these in their in their five dollar games that you can play, like the 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 spinner or the plinko. You know, if you want to spin the spin the wheel or whatever, and spin the I forget what it's called, the just random. I mean, it's a random prize drawer, and then you um. Do the Plinko, you're guaranteed pins that are easily valued at or more than what you're, you've paid to play the game. And sometimes you can get something you already have that's valuable for somebody else and you can make it to the trade. So there you go. Mystery pin, thank you, mystery pin. It is a great deal. I find myself playing it just because it's fun and it's five bucks. It's better than paying five bucks at the fucking, um, boardwalk and playing something that you're not going to take anything home from, you're guaranteed to take something home from BB Create, and it could be one of these things. So we'll look at those. All right. Saturday is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Y'all, y'all have to forgive me with the selfie stick I'm going to have. You really are going to have to forgive me because it's either that or hold it on the tripod. So I'm gonna have to hold the camera out in some way. And, I'm gonna, and I wanna be able to put it back in because I wanna look at pins and you know, like show pins, so. But y'all know how I know how to show pins from the front side. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done. And I'm gonna have this with me also. So I'll be trying to monitor as best I can when we do live shooting, you know? Because I'm gonna ask a lot of the people at the show to touch their pins and to show me the pins. I don't want to have to touch the pins unless I really have to touch the pin. Unless I'm sedentary with the camera, like we'll, we will do a few times. So, I'm gonna selfie stick the shit out of it. We're gonna get a whole tour of the whole thing with the selfie stick before anybody comes in, you guys. I'm gonna give you every table's point of view perspective as you walk up before anybody who actually gets to walk in and do it. It's gonna be like what I got to do at Pint, Pins and Pints by myself when I brought donuts and just wanted to come chill and pep talk my crew before the doors open and just shoot the breeze and be there if they needed me to do something or whatever the fuck it was 
I get to do that now in a major way in the way that I do it here, but they're with them. So I hope that they are cool with how in my how in their faces I'm probably gonna be, but if anybody is gonna be doing it, it's probably good that it's me because they know I love them and they know I have all of their shit. And I'm like, I'm like the commissioner of the pin community, I guess you could say, because I'm not an owner and I'm not a player. I'm more than both. So I'm the commission. That's why I'm the captain. There we go. Yeah, GoPro would work for a dock or just filming it, but it's not gonna work for... Yeah, the beer clutcher. You're welcome, Steez. I'm sorry I couldn't get you more of them. Um, what else? So, it's gonna be a hot time in the city. It is gonna be. You're gonna be a fly on the wall with me as I enjoy it and take it all in. I wish that I could, sh I'm gonna try and show you, okay. What I'd really like to have is like a bird on my shoulder perspective. I like to have the camera just right here and be able to take it down when I, when I need to and do something and then put it back up again. So you're looking at whatever I'm looking at and you're seeing whatever I'm seeing. And I tried to do that at the road show. If you notice that at the road show, my point of view was right here because I just took my phone and I held it up like this. And that's what it was, pretty much the whole night. And I told everybody, I was like, I'm streaming. So, you know, there's the camera if you want to not be in it. I'll try not to put you in if you don't want, you know? So anyway. Well, Gotham Goddess, you should have been my, uh, my minion for the day. I needed a fucking minion and I couldn't get my brother. I couldn't get brother's friend. I couldn't get one of my friends. Gotta have trusted social media hands on these things. You know what I'm saying? You can't just have any old body working a camera. You know what I'm saying? Don't work like that. Yeah, I need a pin parrot. I need a pin parrot. So, all right, let's look at some pins. First, I want to start with the Flayed Man's dank-ass tie... Skull Tie Fighter. Hard enamel. Double posted. Beautiful, large piece. No back stamp, but I don't really need it because I know this is flay, and I flayed, and I forgot who the collab is, but but I'll tag it in the photo. Don't worry. Yeah, we're about to see it right now. Look at this thing. It's one of these hard to hard to view, but look at the detail on the skull. Wow! Look at those teeth. Let's just take this in. Let's just drink this. This is pretty goddamn fire. I mean, look, for me, this is a hard piece because A, it's not bright. I mean, it's got a little brightness with the red and the, and the light gray skull here, but it's not a bright pen, so it's not a standard pen pirate pen that I would want to buy to wear. So this is more of a collectible piece for me. This is a piece, a piece I'm buying to collect because I just love the design. I just love it. I think it's so sick. It screams my name. It screams my name. I, I just don't know what else would. So, gotta give it up to them. This is a beautiful fucking pen. Beautiful pen. Big, beautiful. Steez. Bigger. <laughs> Pretty sick. Had to had that. <clears throat> That's our only pin from a non maker going to San Diego. Not a maker not going to San Diego. So, everybody else you're going to see tonight is going to be San, San, San Diego on Saturday. And let's start with Rebel Art Design. I've had these pins for quite some time, so much so that they don't exist anymore. And it's almost as if he never even made them. Because I don't even really see them on his Instagram ever anymore. 
He makes so many other things. He does prints and t-shirts and all kinds of other pins and stickers and patches, I think, and whatever. But both of these are tremendous glowing pens. And I'm gonna put this one on Miguel, who said a couple times to tell him to bring a flashlight to the next event, he would have one for me. And he did not have one for me at this last event, even though I had his t-shirt for him. <laughs> but it is okay. <laughs> What's up, Kilgore? Coming up for air. <laughs> Nicholas J. Billing, James Billing. This is the golden age of the hashtag pen game. We are witnessing history right now. When pens become a huge, huge thing, we'll be able to say we were here in or near the beginning. I wouldn't say we're here in the beginning. I'd say we were the momentum bringers. I say we swung the momentum in the last two to three years. The momentum has swung and we are pushing it up over the peak at the peak of the mountain. We're pushing it at the crest, like at that. We're about to crest the wave. And, and we're, about to, we're about to roll down the wave in the new year that's going to coast us to the top of the fucking pin game. Like, our community. Like, of like, of like, the game period. Look at this shit. Look at how sick this shit is, right? Yeah, we'll be the pin hipsters, yeah. Though, we'll have conversations about, oh, remember when soft enamel was something... Damn, that pin pirate sure swung everybody towards hard, and now it's nothing but hard and ammo, hard and ammo, hard and ammo. <laughs> I remember when you could talk to the makers. <laughs> That's funny. Hologram pins. Yeah, this is why I love the pins, because I honestly feel like pins exi eventually will not exist. Because if we talk about pins at the root of them, they are so toxic. The making of enamel and the making and production of production of pins is a ridiculously toxic thing. It is so environmentally hazardous to the overall well-being of the planet and the environment. And that is why there aren't a lot of domestic pin manufacturers right now. Because when you... you know, do these things and you make them at a high rate that some of these places over in China and Japan and Korea and wherever else pins get made, Mexico, Germany, I don't know, Canada, that, uh, you know, so we are facing an interesting decision are pins gonna continue to be produced or will they become rare because of what it takes to make them, what it takes to make them and what it costs the planet to make them. So, gotta love these though. Look at the detail. I wish I could show you the glow on them, but I sadly can, I cannot and I'm not gonna try. You know, just because like, when you think about collectible things, what makes collectible things collectible at the end of it all is how rare they are, how limited they are, how rare, how limited, how rare, how limited. How often can someone possibly get these things? You know what I mean? Like what makes these things gettable in that way, right? And if something is gettable, it makes it not as valuable. So will pins continue to be very attainable? Or will they become limited? Like how vinyls had a resurgence because it, it's, the originals are out of print now, right? And so you can't get any rare, rare vinyl is worth a lot of money now. Same with any other subjective art. Pens are very subjective now. A lot of what a lot of what a lot of y'all think are great pens I find to be absolute shit. I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm sorry y'all. There's a lot of pens that I see like, y'all really? Okay. I think sometimes in the pin loops, people just include pins that are of the variety of pins that you need to put in there because you need more of those makers. And I get that, but sometimes the pins, I'm like, man, you're putting your pin up there with that pin. I'm like, your pin is so much better than that pin. 
I don't get, like, sure, you're having, like, a total theme giveaway. I'm not anybody in specific at all. I'm just saying, overall, over the last whatever amount of time, I've seen this. You're just jump lumping a bunch of different variety of the same thing, pins together, and saying it that's the thing. And I'm like, well, only, like, three of those pins are super fucking dope. And maybe that's the point of it, but it just, it, it, it's, it's lessening the value of all the pins. When you put them in something like that, unless it's like an overall bundle of pins, instead of like featuring the theme, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at here, but I cough, cough at a lot of the shit that's going on right now in general, but I cough, cough because I'm trying to have fun and I'm not letting my cough get to me. So there's it. But this is the safe place where we can come and discuss and be like, yeah, this is it. That's it. I've said my thing with the Batman before. Fine, whatever. Whatever. I love Batman. Speaking of, the auction went great. It ended up at 40 and we sent it off already and that was it. I didn't make a big hubbub about it because it wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. So I didn't make it as big as it was. Because it wasn't big. So that's it. The infamous pin, 40 bucks sold, out the door. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're placing value on pins, see? This is happening. We're doing it. Look at all these BB pins. I have so many BB Create pins, y'all. Nothing funny, oops. I got into it today a little bit with a maker about a pin that one of my good pin maker p designers designed and I'm like look it's not about the design y'all it's not about the design it's about the functionality of the pin that I disagree with I disagree with the functionality of the pin and like y'all don't understand why I want to make a better version of it because I think it exists and I think no offense but you're doing the cheap man's version of this and I refuse to allow that to be the only version that exists and that's it and bottom line I bought the pin I want the fucking pin it's not that I'm not into the pin it's that I think that you could have done it better and I want it because I want to have it as an example of why and when I do it that's what I want to have it for that's it thank you to them for doing it first but I'm gonna do it better unless somebody beats me to it and thank God if somebody does because that's all I want is the pin to exist I don't care who does it I just want it to be there the right way that's all I'm saying what well, don't do a pin if it's not right Yeah, it was the Rogue Gallery pin, Kilgore. Trouble walking the plank? No, it's not that. It's We're going to have this pin on, and I'll tell you when it's on. I'm done beating around bushes with people, honestly. When it's time, it's time. You know, I don't give a fuck. So anyway, these two are secret menu as is Archer. An Archer I've had for a while, and I picked up Archer with this first My Little Pony down here because I thought, well, what the fuck are they doing making this shit? And I was like, well... Sick pins, yes, I did get that special pin in the mail. I talked about it on Friday, or on Thursday last week. Your special pin, if you're talking about that. So Archer, soft enamel, double posted. I don't know what kind of My Little Pony this is. This looks like a uh, high on like some kind of mushrooms, My Little Pony. And then this one I got with the Archer because I just thought, how fucking cute is this thing? There's only 50 of them. So I got one of 50 of these guys, which is exciting. Then, I have the four turtle set here, all four guys, which is great. I think the grayscale variant's going out of, Pinkie Pie, yeah. The grayscale variant is uh, almost out of stock. Then we have Donut 8, which is hard enamel, and there's also a glitter variant of this. There's only 25 of these, man. I only have, I have one of 25 of these guys. 
and I got that in a raffle or in the uh, mystery pin spin. I got that in the mystery pin spin right there. So there's the example of getting something that only exists in the mystery pin spin right there. Pretty sure all of these will be available on Saturday. And I think if you play the game, you could win any of these guys. Play the games. I, I couldn't encourage you more to do that. Please do it. I was supposed to have some more pins um, in from a few other makers for Saturday, but we felt that we've been putting a lot into it anyway, and we've got a lot coming anyway, so it's okay if I don't show so many pins ahead of all the pins I'm going to show on Saturday, you know? Let's leave a little mystery, right? So that's what we've decided. But I do have some. Just a few, just a little sprinkle. <laughs> Ooh, Nintendo controller is shining. A, a sh is it a shining or a shinning pen? A DBZ and a Seinfeld pen and a mystery spin. So lastly, there's nothing really complicated about this pen from Bummer Days Co. Formerly Elko Lives, my man Will over there who decided to do a name change and we discussed that name change and I sanctioned the name change and I told him, do it, man. And he did it. And, it, and I'm not saying that I told him to do it. I'm just saying, I'm, I, you know I'm playing. Y'all know I'm playing. But he did it eventually and uh, Bummer Days Co. now exists and a long, long time ago, I ordered a few pins, and they got lost in the mail. And either they went to the wrong address or something, and I never got them. So I hit Will up, and I was like, yo, bro, I never got my shit, man. And he was like, oh, man, I'm sorry. Let me resend it. And so he resent it and sent me a bunch of extra pins, which was totally dope of him. Like, so dope. And I can't help thinking that the pins he sent me were sent to me for a reason and so one of the extras was this movie straight up hard enamel movies pin um which i find so perfect and it describes a lot about me you know i love movies and i love what they bring to us and the escape they provide and the almost motivational factor they can you know give you in your life when you watch a good movie or hear a good song or anything like that. So this could easily say music or just art or story or life, you know? It's all about what resonates. And I found so many different uh, places in movies and in books, obviously. I mean, I majored in English literature for God's sake, so if you think I'd like to read. But I've gotten away from it now because we're so digital, digitally drive, so, driven. Oh my God, look at me speaking like a fucking teenager. Can you hear me drink really well? I bet you can. I love this music. Yes, yeah, good one to go out on. So, check out tomorrow night. We're gonna have um, some pins for the weekend, actually, from some of the makers for the weekend on Saturday. And uh, I'm gonna reveal the pin trading board beginning for Saturday. So what's already on the board, what's available to already trade from, and some of the rules. All right? I'll get more betters at talking. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace, love, and yarg. We'll see you all on the flip side. Have a good night. <laughs>